Hey guys, this is Captain Rex and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be continuing our How to Build Stampy's Lovely World series and we are going to be building Hilda and Henry's room today, but we are going to be joined by Paradox who is hiding somewhere in the house. Oh, I know where he is. The dog is looking up to there. He must be up here. What? Dog, you threw me off there. What? Well, there's hardly any place to hide. Since there's like, this house is so small. Where is he? I'm teleporting. I give up. What? That's cheating. I cannot go there. You're L. Haha. <laughs> okay. So in the last video, I seem to have forgotten about this underneath part, which is L. So we're going to be doing that first. So on the bedroom side, what you want to do is leave three empty blocks and then we're just gonna put our stairs right down here oh we can actually bring this along this edge back to here yeah we can just fill in the edge and then on the sides that go to the storage room and the clubhouse wing you want to leave two blocks so basically it's just a ring of two blocks on this side then three blocks on the bedroom side and you just want to bring stairs around around those and then put oak over here. Okay, so now we can actually start Hilda and Henry's room. So what we're gonna start off by doing is we're gonna extend this out by eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're just gonna match this up and we can fill in this bottom part with wood because wood is cool. Yeah, so let's just fill this area in with wood. And then what I'll do is we can just make a ring around of wood around the outside here. And then we'll begin by doing the walls and all that cool stuff. So you want to, same as Stampy's bedroom sort of thing, you want to put one, two, three, four oak here. One, two, three, four. And then bring this across. You want your three sandstone on each side. And then fill this in with glass. There actually is no, um, there's no balcony here. Then you want to just do your pattern of the sandstone oak and then just bring it across up there. Um, I guess we'll just do the roof since it, we'll just get the outside done with first. Um, so we want to bring our slabs across here and then do our little two block pattern. So you want to do two up by two, up by two again. And then this just goes up to that level since like it'd be like that. And then you can just alternate with your sandstone and your slabs, just like this. Oh no. And then it's, it's the same sort of thing with our torches. So you just wanna leave one sandstone empty and then put the torches just the same and then leave one sandstone empty, do the torches down there on the bottom one. So I guess we'll head inside now and we be, can begin the fun part of the build. I know, very fun. Um, let me get inside all my reference. So inside of here, what is the, what? Oh, so Paradox is pointing out to me that this torch down here needs to go over one block to the right and this one is not in line with these other two here. So that is just an extra detail that you can add. And I also forgot about the balcony supports, or why do I say balcony, it's the supports. So these just go down six on the ends and then our spruce log goes into the ground right there. So now we can go inside. So I'm gonna grab some mossy cobble and some snow. So over here we want to uh, bring our mossy cobble out three more blocks from the door. So now this is that door, then one, two, three. And then we're gonna put one here, one here, and one right there. And then basically the other side of the floor gets filled in with snow, except for there, because that's where the walls are gonna go. So then you can just fill in your walls up to three high along where the snow part is. 
and then you want to put just one right here that goes over into there. So now we're going to need to grab some jack-o'-lanterns and this is where the fun part begins because we're going to need to get, oh no, because you're going to need to put a jack-o'-lantern in there without making a snow golem. And then over here you want to leave one block gap, put a jack-o'-lantern two, and then a jack-o'-lantern there again. So then we can just fill this wall up with our mossy cobble right over here all along uh, and then it's kind of the same sort of thing they're in the same spots on this wall so iron block torch right there right there leave two and then right there um, we're gonna add some beds because yes so right in between here there's a double bed and a chest beside it um, then there is a table over here, a nice little table thing. Um, where is pressure plate? We're gonna need a oak pressure plate, bruh. So you wanna put these two stone brick stairs, one here, one here. The fence with the pressure plate on top. And then for the rest of the stuff in Henry's area, we want a bed on the left. So right next to the left jack-o'-lantern, and then we want a dirt block with a poppy and two oak trap doors right there. And then for the ceiling, it just simply is stone. I'll do the ceiling if you want to spawn in Hilda and Henry. Um, and it goes right up here on the fourth block level. It's just all stone all up here. So just fill all of this in. And then there we go, you spawn in your iron golem, and then you, sp oh no, I'm gonna have to turn the snow thing off. What is it called, is it mob griefing? So that the snow doesn't go everywhere. Yes, and inside this room, you do not put pressure plates, and Snappy did not put pressure plates here because the, so they wouldn't escape, because Henry will escape and just roam the house. Oh no, the snow is everywhere. So if you don't want your snow to go everywhere, make sure mob griefing is off. That will definitely help. So this is what the inside of this room should look like. And make sure you actually, because I don't think I showed this, have pressure plates, oak pressure plates on the outside of the doors inside the main area here. I think Paradox might be doing chest content. So this chest over here, beside of um, Hilda's bed. This is what the content should look like. It's just filling in, so I'll give them some time to fill it in. I'm, I'm not sure if it's full or not, but while he's doing that, I'll give an overview of the outside of the build. So it's pretty much the same as Stampy's bedroom as in the outside, but it is, there is no balcony. So that's one of the biggest differences here. So now I'll head inside and show you the chest contents. So this is what the chest contents look like. Feel free to pause the video and just copy those down. Um, so I believe that it's it. So in the next video, it's gonna be a very short one and we are gonna be doing the guest room. And then I think after that, we're gonna be tackling the um, Fizzy's Tower, which might take one or two parts. We'll have to see, but that's going to be a, a fun one to do. But thank you guys all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. So I'll see you guys in the next one, and goodbye.